Hello dear students this is Dr Amar Preet Kaur a lecturer from Jammu and Kashmir Education Department today i am going to discuss the very important topic of plant biotechnology it is tissue culture before discussing this topic in detail let's know the very important concept and this concept is actually the foundation of tissue culture this concept it was given by a german scientist known as gottlieb haberland in year 1902 what he observed he observed that a single cell was able to divide and differentiate into all cells which are present in an organism and ultimately it can produce a full organism this is the concept of totipotency in tissue culture what we are doing we are taking a, a cell or a small part of a plant and we culture it in a growth media and ultimately we are getting a full fledged organism that is uh, certainly a plant and all this is happening in sterile condition so three things are very important in tissue culture one is the plant part or even a cell you can choose so this is known as x plant the other thing is growth media okay growth media it contains different um, kinds of nutrients and also different concentrations of different hormones this is very important okay and thirdly the environment it must be sterile okay because if there will be any contamination by either bacteria or fungi so it can create a lot of problem because instead of our main ex plant we will grow bacteria inside that culture so we have to be very careful while we are dealing with this tissue culture okay firstly about ex plant ex plant is that plant part which can be cultured in a growth media okay and it can be a plant cell tissues or organs of a plant right growth media is very important part in tissue culture because it provides all the desired nutrients which are essential for growth in culture media or you can say the growth media it contains a carbon source that is generally in the form of sucrose it also contains inorganic salts vitamins amino acids and some growth regulators growth regulators they are actually some plant hormones for example we are using a uh, different concentrations of auxin and cytokinin okay the function of auxin is generation of uh, roots in tissue culture while as cytokinin it is meant for generation of shoot system in tissue culture clear and culture media it can be liquid as well as solid liquid is preferably considered to be good because in liquid there is proper aeration and the most important thing the optimum ph of this nutrient media it should be 5.7 now the second part which is very important it is ste sterilization all the vessels which we are using in tissue culture like pottery plates some beakers and whatever you are using like spatula and uh, glass rod they all must be sterilized with the help of either chemicals or there are different instruments firstly you wash these uh, uh, vessels very carefully with soap and uh, water after that you will autoclave them 
autoclave is a instrument which creates a lot of pressure and uh, there is certainly a rise in temperature so it can kill any organism any microbe which is present on these vessels and second thing is if you are taking any x plant that can be also contaminated with uh, microbes so you can uh, sterilize it with some chemicals and more important every time when you handle the x plant or uh, the vessels you have to keep your hands very clean and uh, this can be done with the help of alcohol okay so alcohol it is very keep playing an important role in tissue culture and finally when you when you put this x plant in the tissue culture or you prepare any media you have to be sure that the environment where you will perform all those functions must be sterilized and how this is possible this is possible when you will perform all those activities inside uh, laminar air flow okay here uh, the air which is coming uh, from outside it get uh, it gets get sterilized okay with the help of small pores which are present these pores which are present in air laminar air flow vessel so it only allows air and not other microbes to enter inside the chamber clear plant tissue culture it includes two major methods one is callus and suspension culture another is the culture of x plant it can be a meristem protoplast culture or embryo culture firstly you must uh, i will discuss about callus and suspension culture and you must know what is a callus callus is unorganized mass of cells okay when a single cell it divides okay you put a single cell inside um, a media and it divides and forms unorganized mass of cells it is known as callus okay and uh, for initiation of roots and shoot system we need certain hormones already i have told you that auxin it is meant for root initiation and cytokinin it is meant for shoot initiation okay now suspension culture what is happening over here x plants which can be either cell or any part of plant like a small stem or a leaf or anything it is suspended into liquid medium and it already contains um auxin and uh, it is constantly agitated at a speed of 100 to 250 rpm rpm means revolution per minute that means in a one minute it uh, revolves almost 100 to 250 time this is very important because it keeps air to flow inside the media okay the problem of tissue culture is that when we grow plants or uh, x plants inside a culture media so a time is coming when all the nutrients they will get depleted and uh, another thing is that toxins they are getting accumulating inside the media so what has to be done to overcome this problem the solution is that we need to replace the media okay and this is known as subculturing in subculturing what we do with very care we put this um, we remove the cells and we put in next fresh media this is known subculturing and other thing that is um, emergence of shoot and root system from callus already i have told you that is it is done with the help of 
oxygen cytokinin concentration and finally we are getting the small plantlets okay these plantlets uh, cannot be removed from uh, tissue culture and put in the field directly field okay however we put them from the tissue culture but we keep them um, at a suitable environment okay where the sunlight is very low and uh, we provide these plantlets with enough nutrients and we gave them enough care this process is actually acclimatizing or you can say the hardening process hardening actually acclimatizes these plantlets to become so tolerant to the external extreme kind of temperature and other environmental conditions okay now uh, i will discuss about meristem culture the meristem it is obtained from apical or axillary parts of the plant okay and why we culture the meristem because this is a virus free or a pathogen free ex plant the other process or the steps are the similarly they are followed as we have done in the tissue culture process okay thank you for listening to this lecture if you have any comment or any query you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetkor.com